let's check out another Robert Maplethorpe book that I have that I really, um, really is quite nice. This is Robert Maplethorpe's Auto Portrait. This is the hardcover, and it is has this, this picture. I think I've seen this one in person. This one at the uh, Guggenheim uh, a couple years ago when they had a, a uh, exhibit of Maplethorpe's. But let's look at what we can of this book. Um, this is the Arena Editions. And like with most art books, the publication information is in the back. So this is 2001 first edition, uh, printed in Italy um, by Arena Editions. And it has the estate of Robert Nicklethorpe's um, uh, blessing, I guess. So there's es lovely essays in here. Um, so I've marked, actually marked the pages I can't show because of censorship, of course. But uh, here we go. Really nice um, essay I've read um, by Richard Marshall. And here's the one that's on the cover of the book. This lovely um, arm with the, you're trying to figure out what that is. It's the uh, shutter release for the camera. So you can take self portraits, an auto portrait. Here we have um, the same white washed wall. Um, this one's blurry. It looks like he's shirtless wearing one of his necklaces. You see just his head here. Looks like it's severed. You can think of the head on the plate. Um, Judith and Halifernes. Um, that's what it reminds me of. Here he's, I think he's sticking out his tongue. Yeah, he's sticking out of his, his tongue. I also think he has um, some clamps on there, which I hadn't noticed before. There's him in a robe. Looks like he's just washed his hair. I like the way it's there. This one, he's sort of in a harness. I believe it's a harness. Very blurry, but it looks like that's what he had on under the robe. The stripes, I think you can faintly make them out. Here again, it's very blurry. Here it is, the front of the. Um, it almost looks like a leotard, but it's it's not. It's a it's a, like a leather harness. Um, he's wearing the same bracelet and uh, the uh, sort of harness shape. Here are two more of them. He's leaning back. It looks like it almost zips up the front, but I'm not sure it does. There's a very uh, close up sharp of the tongue out. He has a mustache. So, are all of these in the book of him? There aren't. There's actually some of Patty in here. This one's kind of interesting with the sort of the rope tied coming up. It's about as mild as I can get, or wild as I can get. Yep, yep, yep. I marked these pages because you can't. They're, he, you know, he didn't mind exposing himself. 
Here's one. I love this one. Get her eyes just laid back. No, no. No, no. No, no. It's like, where can I? No, no. No, no, no. No, no. Well, this one's fairly mild. Again, he's in the, in the harness. It's almost abstract. You can make out his foot, his arm. But it's so blurry and it looks like he's sort of haphazardly laying on the bed. Here's one. It's just the mattress. Just the mattress. And here we have the hand again. Um, I think he's playing with the vertical and the pattern there. Maybe testing. Ah, there's Gib Suit Robert. So we have here we have the bracelets, the hands, here's the thing he's wearing with the hood, I guess, and against the mattress. So that's the first. That's him. I guess another one of his hand close up. The fist. I like this one. To me, if it's almost like he's um, going to go out on the town or something, because he's kind of dressed up, dark jeans, tucked in shirt. Here he's holding himself on the bed. This one's from the cover. I just like the way he, like his, his head is this way, the angles, the dark and light. Just a tiny little picture. Tiny little picture. Again, almost like a daydream. Continuation. And I believe the rest of these are fairly tame. There he is looking. I can't tell if he's looking down or looking up. Those are his legs. Feet. These look like they're the same picture, but they're not quite. There's a close-up. Almost like an accidental picture was taken. A selfie. Mm -hmm. This one's very I want a Rovich, especially with the teeth. This one's much better. Why did I think Patty was in this one? She was in the last one. And that is it. No oh, Patty. And these are all untitled. There's one that has no date, but all are Polaroids reproduced to actual size. So if you look, this is the actual size of the Polaroid. So I believe these were taken with a land camera. Can't be certain, but I believe it is. So anyway, that's 
what I can show you from Robert Maplethorpe's auto portrait. So there you go. Another glimpse into his wonderful photography. Thanks for watching.